In the Netherlands, each year, more patients are diagnosed with skin cancer. Melanoma is an invasive type of skin cancer, with overexposure to UV radiation being connected with the development of the disease. Compared to other types of skin cancer, melanoma is an immunogenic tumor, which means that it can be relatively easily detected and fought by the immune system. One of the first cells of the immune system that make contact with a tumor are dendritic cells. These cells are constantly crawling through the body, scanning for irregularities. Upon encounter of a dying melanoma cell, dendritic cells take up a sample of the cell, called tumor antigen, which later serves as a way to recognize other tumor cells. After taking up a tumor sample, the dendritic cell gets activated which leads to a fundamental change in the appearance of the cell. Furthermore, the cell stops scanning the tissue and starts to move to the lymph node, a specialized organ of the immune system dedicated to training killer T cells. On the way to the lymph node, the dendritic cell processes the earlier taken up tumor antigen and presents it on its surface on specialized structures. Upon arrival in the lymph node, it immediately starts scanning for T-cells that can recognize the presented tumor antigen. Only one in a million T-cells is a match. When the killer T-cells recognize the presented tumor antigen, a three-step activation process is initiated. First, successful recognition of the presented tumor antigen by the T-cell receptor initiates the activation program in the T-cell. Long-lasting contact between these two cells allows the transmission of co-stimulatory signals based on interacting structures on the cell surfaces. These co-stimulatory signals further enhance and promote the activation of the killer T cells. Finally, a third signal, in the form of soluble proteins called cytokines, completes the T cell activation program. These cytokines are secreted by the dendritic cells diffused to the T-cells and are recognized by specialized structures on their surface. The T-cells are now fully activated, multiply extensively and leave the lymph node several days after the initial activation. Thereafter, they pass over into the blood circulation to scan the body for tumor cells. When they recognize a melanoma cell, they initiate a suicide program in this cell called apoptosis and start to secrete molecules to recruit further killer T cells to this site. With the joint effort of the recruited killer T cells, all tumor cells are destroyed and the tumor vanishes.